Chevron and several other corporations involved in mining either for oil or other mineral resources such as gold, silver, and anything you can imagine that comes from under the soil have been caught in the business of destroying the environment in the name of making profit. And in this particular case of today, Chevron has been found culpable, at least as far as the evidence that is in the public domain is concerned of having engaged themselves in drilling for oil in Nigeria and killing the people of the Niger Delta region of Nigeria where all of their 5.6 billion dollars quarterly profits comes from. So it's been 50 years of drilling and killing by Chevron. But finally today, uh, Chevron is on trial before a San Francisco jury that's about to be selected as I speak with you. And the people of Nigeria, especially of the larger community where the atrocities by Chevron were committed, are feeling finally relieved that they are within the grasp of justice in this case. Well, it's important to say that as an individual, since the last 15 years, I have worked with other Nigerian activists peacefully to bring about justice for the environment and for the people of Nigeria where the majority of our resources are collected. Okay. That's very important. Hey, thank you. Hey, thank you. So we have worked tirelessly to bring companies like Chevron and their partners in crime, the Nigerian government, to account on the strength of the repression against the people of Nigeria that has been carried out systematically and systemically over the years. And this has brought several lawsuits, including the one that's going to try out today. Another one is coming against Shell in February, hopefully in New York, and it's governized an entire movement around the world uh, who love the environment and who love human freedom to put an end to the practices of Chevron of violating human rights and hopping in bed with dictators all around both dictators that are right wing and in places like Angola dictators that of course they claim are of the left, left wing they do this in the name of profit they don't care but what we are saying to Chevron and oil companies all around the world who are milking the, uh, the, the earth for profit is that they might have the right to connive and collaborate with dictators but they don't have the right to pump human blood uh, into gas tanks and get away with it. And that is what this is about. When I speak to Americans who consume 25% of the oil brought out of Nigeria, we let them know how would you feel in your neighborhood if we are protesting against a Walgreen and the Walgreen manager goes to a police prison nearby you, pack policemen full in Walgreen trucks and comes around and attack you, the peaceful protester, kill you and injure you and put you in detention and torture you. How would you feel? This is what the case is about. It's a clear court case of repression. It's a clear court case of aiding and abetting killing and murder and repression of villagers in the Niger Delta region of Nigeria. It's a clear court case of destruction of environment. It's a clear court case of pollution of water and air. It's a clear court case of disrespect for fundamental human rights of Nigerians that can also be extended to mean environmental racism because they don't do this in Texas. They don't do this in San Ramon. And, but they do it in lower class majority black neighborhood in Richmond, of course. So you can understand what it is also about on a larger philosophical level that it is about Chevron drilling and killing people either on the oil platforms or in their refineries, both in Nigeria and Richmond in uh, uh, near San Francisco. So this is what we are here to fight about. It's not a Nigerian issue alone, it's a humanity issue. I think uh, I am extending an invitation to everybody who is 
very aware of the need for respect for human rights, who believes in equity, who believes in equality, uh, come together and put pressure on Chevron to renounce violence as a way of doing business in Nigeria. And maybe in the immediate, we would suggest strongly that people boycott their products and ensure that they do not put more money in their arsenal to drill and kill in Nigeria. We would call on students to organize around these human rights issues and to make sure that Chevron is brought to account on the strength of the collaborative efforts to kill people in Nigeria and also, importantly, to force Chevron uh, to clean up their acts because all they have been doing all along since they were caught, with, since their hand was caught in the cookie jar is to clean up their image. It is time to clean up their act because it's been a, there's been tons of pollution that's happened. Rivers need to be cleaned, secret grooves need to be restored, and the people of the Niger Delta region needs to be given a chance to enjoy and benefit from a natural environment in which they were born in uh, without interruption from profit-seeking, greedy CEOs that are based in America and in other places in the world who spend, who rely on this illegitimate uh, profit and blood-soaked uh, funds to live uh, a life of profligacy, whereas the villagers live without water, without healthcare, clinics, without schools, and even the most basic needs of life. Uh, most people are aware that the Nigerian poor, about 70% of them live on an average of $1 per day. There's no basis for it, especially when these companies are building cities in Western countries. They are sending their kids to uh, Ivy League schools and embarking on vacations that cost more than you can spend in uplifting a village out of poverty uh, just in, 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 on one vacation. We have to call them to order and we must make sure that, most, most importantly, they are made to face the consequences of those crimes for which they have already been indicted. Thank you so much. Anything else?